सो की वर्ड की वर्ड्स इन द प्रेम बिल सो पीएम प्रेम बिल का सर्टेन सर्टेन की वर्ड्स ऑफ रिलीजन सोशलिस्ट सेकुलर डेमोक्रेटिक रिपब्लिक जस्टिस इक्वलिटी फैटर्निटी आर एग्जाम्पल्स आर एक्सपेंड तो सबरेनिटी और सबरेनिटी इम्प्लाइज दैट इंडिया इज नाइदर डिपेंडेंसी नॉर ए डोमिनियन नॉर ए डिपेंडेंसी नॉर ए डोमिनियन डी डी इन अदर इन एनी अदर नेशन बट एन इंडिपेंडेंट स्टेट देर इज नो अथॉरिटी ऑफ एवर बिट एंड इट इज द इट इज फ्री टू कंडक्ट इट्स ओन अफेयर्स बोथ इंटरनल एंड एक्सटर्नल थ्रू नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन इंडिया डिक्लेयर द of her full membership of the communal commonwealth of nations and accepted the british crown as the head of the commonwealth and the this extra confederation declaration does not affect india's sovereignty in any manner india sovereignty in any manner in any manner further india's membership on the of the you know the international organization or also or is also is no also in no way should is and should is a limitation of our sovereignty but being sovereign state india can either declare a foreign territory or cede a part of the its of its territory in favor of a foreign state as at least even before the term was added by 42nd amendment of 1976 the constitution had socialist content in the form of certain direct principle of state policy and in other words what was hitherto hitherto and implicit in the constitution has now been made explicit for the constitution partly party constitution congress party it shall be adopted in a resolution established socialist pattern of the society it needs our discussion Early as early as in 1955, and took measures accordingly. What is it? The Indian brand of socialism is a democratic socialism, and not a communistic socialism. So also known as state socialism, which involves nationalization, nationalization of all means of production, and distribution, as uh, and the abolition of private property. The democratic state uh, socialism. On the other hand, holds faith and in the in the mixed economy, where both the public and private sectors coexist side by side. So, as the Supreme Court says, democratic socialism aims to end poverty, ignorance, disease, disease inequality, and opportunity. So, even the Supreme Court says democratic socialism aims to aim end poverty, and ignorance, disease, and inequality and opportunity. Indian socialism is a blend of Marxism, Marxism, and Gandhism, and uh, lending heavily towards Gandhian socialism. The, the new term, uh, new economic policy, nineteen ninety one, of liberalism, privatization, liberalization, privatization, globalization has, however, diluted uh, the social credentials of the Indian state. Secular now discuss the term secular uh, too was added forty second. By the forty second, forty second amendment act of nineteen seventy six, so socialist it is forty second, nineteen seventy six it is forty second again. So it died the Supreme Court it said in nineteen seventy four all the words secular state were not expressed uh, expressly uh, mentioned in the constitution. So there can be no doubt that the constitution makers wanted to establish. Such a high status is stated accordingly. Uh, accordingly, Article 28 and 20, 25 to 28, guaranteeing fundamental rights uh, to freedom of to religion, have been included in the Constitution. And Indian Constitution embodies the positive concept of secularism, uh, that is, all religions, religious religions of in our country, irrespective of their strength. Have the same status and support uh, from the state. Next, we discuss democratic. A democratic polity, uh, as stipulated, stipulated in the preamble, is based on doctrine of the popular sovereignty. That is, suppose the possession of supreme power of the people. Democracy is of two people, two types: direct democracy and indirect democracy. In direct democracy, the people exercise exercise their supreme power directly, as is. as is the 
case of uh, Switzerland, there are four devices of uh, direct democracy, namely referendum initiative, recall and plebiscite. In direct democracy, in indirect democracy, uh, on the other hand, the representatives. So in direct democracy, in indirect democracy, the successful people exercise their supreme power directly. Uh, that as the, in the case of Switzerland, there are four direct devices of direct democracy: referendum, uh, recall, RR, PI, the plebiscite, and in an initiative. And in indirect democracy, on the other hand, the representatives elected by the people um, exercise uh, the supreme power and thus carry on the government and make the law. The, this type of democracy, also known as the representative democracy, is of uh, two kinds parliamentary and presidential. The Indian constitution provides for representative uh, parliamentary democracy. Under which the ex uh, executive and responsible to the legislature for all its policies and actions, universal adult franchise, periodic elections, rule of law, independence of judiciary, and absence of uh, and discrimination of certain grounds are the manifested of the democratic character of the Indian quality. The term democratic is used in the preamble in the, uh, in the broader sense. And not only political democracy but also social and economic democracy. So, in this uh, this dilemma was stressed by Dr. Ambedkar in his uh, concluding speech about the, in the Constituent Assembly on November 25, 1949. So, Political democracy cannot last unless there lies at the base of its social social democracy. What does social democracy mean? It means the way of life which recognizes recognizes liberty, liberty, equality, fraternity. The principles of liberty, equality, and fraternity are not to be treated as separate items or in a trinity. They form uh, the form a union of uh, trinity in the sense that to divorce one or one from the other is to defeat the purpose of democracy. Liberty cannot be divorced from equality. Equality cannot be divorced from liberty. Liberty cannot be divorced from equality, and equality cannot be divorced from liberty. Uh, nor can liberty or any equality be divorced from the fraternity without equality, liberty without produce the supremacy of, of the few of our of the many. Equality without liberty would kill individual initiative. In the same in the same context, the Supreme Court observed in 1977 the Constitution envisions to establish an an egalitarian, egalitarian social order uh, as the rendering to the average citizens, social, economic, and political justice in, in a social and economic democracy of the Bharat Republic. Next, to discuss republic justice, liberty, equality, fraternity. So, thank you.